Hello and welcome to our third tutorial on Quest and in this tutorial we're going to look a little bit more at exits including up and down and non-directional exits. Now I've added a bit more as you can see to my game. I've added some all rooms and I've added uh, a landing. So I've got an upstairs room that you can reach from the hall and I've changed, you'll notice, my description of my room to say that stairs lead up to a landing. So let's see what happens when you run the game. Save my changes. And here we are. I'm in a hallway and now my other rooms I've added so so they appear here but I can say so I can go east south or landing. So I've noticed this I've done as a non directional exit. It doesn't say up. So I could change that to up but I've decided to go to I, I can say landing because I've said the stairs lead up there so we're assuming that the player will work that bit out so I'm going to go go to landing and you'll notice uh, not a mistake but a little thing we've got to change here you are in a landing now you're on a landing aren't you so we would need to change that in the game and you'll notice that I haven't added a direction back down again that's because I'm going to show you how to do it so let's come out of the game stop it and just make a couple of changes so the first thing let's have a look at our hallway room and you'll notice that I've got now three exits and the landing exit is a non-directional exit so it doesn't say up down it says landing so if I click on landing now we can have a look at the room description and this is what we need to change you are in and we want it to say you are on so I'm just going to change that to on and the prefix is is the thing that the computer automatically puts into each description before you do it so you can always change that if you need to so here's my landing I've said there are doors leading off in all directions I haven't added those yet we won't worry about those for the moment we're just gonna worry about being able to get up and down the stairs so I'm going to go to my exits and I'm going to add another exit so I'm going to go add and this time I'm going to choose hallway and I'm going to make another non-directional hall um, exit I'm not going to put down I'm going to put non-directional exit there and I'm going to add in fact a little bit more to my description so I'm going to go to my landing and I'm going to do it here there are doors leading off in all directions the hallway is accessible via the stairs so I haven't mentioned listed stairs separately as an object or anything I've included in my description and I've added now an exit to the hallway let's see if that works so I'm going to go play unsaved changes save changes so I can go to the landing you can go and I would need to change that so you can go hallway I would, I would want to say to the hallway but I can go hallway so another non-directional exit and you can choose whether you want to use directional or non-directional for instance if players are going through a door or or you just think it makes less sense to use compass directions and just give them the name of the location okay so it doesn't really matter there's not a right way or a wrong way to do it but the main thing is if I click hallway and I'm back in my hallway so I've got a combination of directional and non-directional exits in my room so in my next tutorial I'm going to show you how to start adding objects good luck with adding directional and non-directional exits to your own games.